I've got a few upcoming projects, a few gadgets that will uh, focus on this uh, Bluetooth module, the HC-06. It's the four pin slave only uh, module. It has to be set up and the procedure uh, will be common throughout all of these videos. So what I thought I would do is demonstrate it once here and this will serve as a reference video going forward. The first thing you need is to have the STM32 with the proper firmware. Here again, I will refer you to gadgets number 61 where that procedure is outlined. And you will use this firmware file, the HS101 oscilloscope BLT version 6 or higher. From here, it's a matter of wiring up the HC-06 to the STM32. First note that the two bootloader jumpers are set at boot zero, their home position. The wiring is fairly simple here. Power and ground, data in, data out. You'll note that for the setup phase, there's an additional jumper wire that provides 3.3 volt from the corner pin here on the STM32 to pin A8. Martin has basically made this an automated process. The firmware that's in the STM32 contains a subroutine required to set up this HC-06. All that's required to get this process started is 5 volts here at this USB on the STM32. I recommend that you do not use the USB port of a laptop or a tablet to power this process. I much prefer this 5 volt wall charger here. Expect a lot of LED activity as we power the STM32. The process ends with three blinks on the STM32 and then a solid two LEDs with the HC-06 blinking. It's done. Remove power. Remove the setup jumper wire that was providing 3.3 volts to A8. Repower. Notice the blinking LED on the HC-06. It is transmitting its presence. Ready to be detected by the Android device. So now if we go to the Bluetooth settings in our Android phone or tablet. The device should be discoverable. The pin is zero 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 okay hs dash 10x is paired it's simple and it's brilliant look forward to the upcoming gadgets based on this hc-06 we'll catch you then